The Pure Loop series is our official return to the world of water cooling. And it's also a new beginning as there are exciting things to come in the future. Which is why we want to educate you about some of the basics of water cooling. In many ways, water cooling works quite differently than air cooling. Increasing the rotational speed of an air cooler fan has a direct effect on the speed of the condensation of the cooling liquid within the heat pipes and thusly more or less immediately influences the cooling circuit and cools down the CPU. In the world of water cooling, other laws supply. Short-term peaks of the fan rotations are irrelevant as the water temperature remains unaffected by temporary loads due to the water's inertia. And water is an excellent energy storage medium. 100 grams of water are capable of storing just as much thermal energy per degree Celsius as 450 grams of aluminum. When we take a look at our technical data, we will see that the high-speed versions of our Pure Wings 2 fans create 26.6 decibels of noise at 50% load and 39.5 decibels at full speed. That is a difference of 13 decibels, while at the same time the water temperature remains pretty much unaffected. If you take this increase in volume and put it into relation with the potential increase in power, you will see that between 50 and 100% fan speed, the water temperature has risen by only 4.2 degrees Celsius. Measuring the temperature in our test chamber results in the following. The best water temperature at full speed is now defined as our zero point. Reducing the fan rotations by 40% increases the water temperature by a mere 3.5 degrees. 50% reduction means a raise of 4.3 degrees. Only by decreasing the fans by 70% we register a noticeable jump in temperature, 9.5 degrees. So a fan curve should really run smoothly in order to avoid punishing the fans. The performance of a water cooling system is also highly dependent of the water flow between the radiator and the base plate of the cooling unit. The pump of our Pure Loop uses the 12 volt SATA connection and always runs at 100%, which facilitates optimizing the cooling adjustments as it only leaves the aforementioned fan speeds as an adjusting screw to keep the inert water as cool as possible. Most computer users directly jump to their windows after building their system without giving much thought to the UEFI. That's not much of a problem when using an air cooler as they usually run without any problems at default settings. With a water cooling system on the other hand, it is very much recommended to manually adjust the fan curve. Most manufacturers of mainboards offer a dedicated software for doing so, even under Windows, but most people even ignore these. Which is a pity as individually adjusting a fan curve really works miracles in regards to the possible noise of a system. So that's about the theory. By the way, the size of a water cooling system has the same results as the size of an air cooler. The bigger the radiator, the bigger the cooling surface, which directly results in a better cooling performance and a quieter operation. We have prepared another video for you, which shows you how you optimize your water cooler with the right setting so that you have the best performance and the quietest operation. Check it out and stay quiet.
If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.